Ruidoso, New Mexico's designation as bear carbon capital of the world isn't anything official, but who's going to argue with a man carrying a chainsaw? Well, if it's not the capital, it probably soon will be with as many bears as we put out here. Bob Grizzly Adams estimates that at least 10 carvers in Ruidoso have spent the last 10 years turning out at least 10 bears apiece every day. That's a lot of bears. And a lot of visitors have decided they can't bear leaving town without one. I like the way they look. They just look really rustic and natural. People just love bears, so somebody's got to do this job. He is far from alone carving a career in this community. Joe Costello can turn a tree into a teddy in no time. James Scott is another artist able to blend a chainsaw with a chunk of wood and wind up with a tourist treat. Each carver has a unique style. I call it refugees. Jim Morrison has raised the art form to a new level, creating a few upscale carved bears every year. I like to keep them simple, like Rusty here, and use the pretty wood. Moritzen says when the trend first popped up in the early 90s, he swore he'd never make a chainsaw bear. But as a starving artist, he saw his cohorts feasting on public demand for bears, and the economic realities of Ruidoso swayed him. So this has become a bear carving kind of place. It doesn't hurt that real bears roam the mountains around the community or that Smokey Bear clung to a tree during a forest fire near here half a century ago and became, alongside the likes of Yogi and Mike Ditka, one of the world's most famous bears. It isn't easy work, but the experts make it look easy. Start carving, take out your chainsaw and start whittling away everything that's not a bear. Add a few details with a grinder, Pop in a pair of marble eyes, fire up the flamethrower to make your bear both smoky and colorful, and Ruidoso's bear market has its latest resident.